So today we're going to talk about Flexbox. Flexbox is a way that we can code our layout, our web layouts through CSS and uh, take care of things like alignment and distribution of space very quickly and efficiently and easily. Um, before Flexbox came around, uh, we used tables and then we used uh, divs with floats and clearing and it was very convoluted and complex. Um, now we have Flexbox, Flex Layouts. Uh, and the idea is that we are giving the containing element, uh, the, the element that is holding uh, other content. We are making it, uh, we're, we are able to alter widths and heights, orders of the order in which things show up. We're able to uh, expand or fill free space. We are able to uh, have space around elements evenly distributed. So Flexbox has really given us a lot to work with. Now, one of the most important things you need to know about Flexbox is this. Flexbox only affects the direct children of a flex element. In other words, if I have a div that has a flex box on it, then only the direct block elements inside of that will be affected by the flex box. So in other words, if we take a look over here at this demo, this section is the parent. This is the child. And knowing that parent-child relationship is really important. This div that is a container has two divs inside of it, and those are the children, the direct children of the container div. Now we call this nesting. We're nesting elements inside other elements. But it's really about a parent-child relationship. So for example, I'm just going to get started with what we can do here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the parent of the elements we want to be aligned. So in other words, I want these two boxes, which is these two divs right here, I want them to sit side by side. So we have to make the direct parent a flex box. The direct parent is this container. So right here on the container, I am going to go ahead and do display, and I'm going to use flex. Now, right away, you can see it. You can see right here that uh, these two are now sitting next to each other. Okay. Now, when you're doing flex, there are some things that are default. One of the first things that default is the direction or flex direction. With flex direction, the default is already set to row. But we can also do flex direction. We can do columns so that it still stacks. We can do row reverse. We can do column reverse. In other words, in row reverse, the bottom element becomes the first element. Same thing with columns. Column reverse, I should say. Next comes the flex wrap. So flex wrap by default has what is called no wrap. And what does that mean? Well, let me tell you. Right now, these are both 49%. But let me show you what happens if I make these both 100%. Even though they should both be filling up this entire 1200 pixel area, they are not because the default of flex wrap is no wrap. If I come over here and I say flex wrap and I say wrap, now we have two divs that are filling up 100% each. So by default, no wrap means line them all up, and it doesn't matter how many divs and how many widths. If you have 100 divs that have 100 pixels each, 
we are only going to use a certain amount to fit them all in that same area. So you'll need to have wrap on. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to 45%. So flex wrap will help with that. Next up, we have justify content. Justify content is how we're going to justify all of these items in here. How do we want them to align? So by default, justify content is set to flex start, which you can see what that means is it's starting, it's all aligned to the start of where the flex box is. If I come over here and I say justify content, and I say flex end, now those will move to the end of the flex box. We can do center, in which both elements are sitting exactly center in the box. We have space between. That will just put the space in between each one. Then we have space around. Space around takes the space, divides it by left and right and left and right for the number of items inside. And then finally, one that I use a lot is space, excuse me, space evenly. So right there, you can see that it's actually taking it and it's dividing by however much space, how many elements you would have. So that's justify content. Next, we have align items. And to show you how this works, I'm going to go ahead and give this container a bigger height than what we have. Height of 500 pixels, just so you can see. So now you can see that these elements are sitting at the top. Align items deals with the vertical alignment. Justify content deals with horizontal alignment, left and right, center. Align items is about taking those items and aligning them vertically, top, bottom, center. So let me show you how that works. We'll come over here and we'll do align items. And again, flex start is the default, but there is a flex end in this case, and that would take them to the bottom. There's a center in which it will center it vertically in the box. There's a stretch, which will only work if you don't have a height on these. So let me take the height off. And there you go. They stretch all the way to from top to bottom. I'm going to put that back in. And then there's baseline. Baseline means line up these items uh, along where the first line of text is. Right? They're aligning them by the baseline of the div's text, which obviously isn't doing anything here. But there is one more group of aligning. Now, this is align content. And you might think, well, what's the difference between justify content and align items and align content? Well, when you're doing only two boxes, align items and justify content is enough. But what happens if I come in here and I have four of these same things? Now I've got four spaced evenly, centered, okay? But what if I wanted them to be sitting center without all this space in between? Well, that's where instead of align items, we go to align content. Align content then takes all of the content in that area and moves it as one. So if we say flex start, it will move all of those boxes together, everything as content. So align items means align individual items and follow the space around or the, the space um, of the justify or Align content means gather it all together and treat them all as one big thing. And that is align content. 
So here's another example that we have for you to look at. I've got a section here that's going to be called red and let me go ahead and just just so we can see how it's different I'm going to go ahead and just come over here and say red and just give it a background of red. There we go just so we can see it and maybe I'll go ahead and give it a little padding also so that it's more visible. Give it 10 pixels all the way around there we go. So inside here we have a container. Now the container is um, flex. So if you notice, there's two here called, there's two divs inside. Let me collapse them so you can see. We have lists right here. The lists are sitting side by, they are sitting floating next to each other. Since our container has space evenly, let's go ahead and change this to space around. There we go. That way it's just a little more spaced out. And those list items, so container, the direct is the parent, the direct children are lists. So the container has two divs called lists sitting next to each other. Anything we put inside container, no matter what we call it, is going to be part of the flex layout. But if you open up the lists, you will see that there are two more block elements, in this case, ULs. These ULs are not sitting next to each other. They are behaving like block elements. They are taking up 100% of the width, although there is some padding in here, so that's why they're not going all the way around. If I took the padding off, what you would see is that they would fill up the 100% of the width and they are stacked on top of each other. But what this means is the direct parent and the direct child have flex, but these are not in a flex layout. So what we're going to need to do is come over here and do display flex. And there you go. Now they're sitting next to each other. So you will use display flex on multiple items. If these list items need to be sitting next to each other and not on top of each other, you would use flex on that. Remember, direct parent affects only direct child. So container display flex affects the lists. Lists display flex only affects the ULs or the items inside of it. That's very important. The Flexbox is a really simple, easy tool once you understand what's going on. There are some elements that uh, can go onto the child elements in terms of uh, growing and shrinking. But for now, just getting to the point where you understand how the basic Flexbox works is super important. This is how you should structure most of your websites using Flexbox.